Now there is something not working in my craft room anymore. And I have come to realize over the last 15 years that my craft space is an ever evolving space. Interests change and maybe even hobbies change. I started off as a scrapbooker, switched to card making. Luckily enough, most of the supplies transferred over well, but not all of them. So my space has to be a space that can evolve and change. And the thing is, as nice as it is to have an organized box like this, um, there are just certain things that aren't practical about it. <laughs> and that is if you want to have specific stations. Now, I guess you can call all of the different drawers that I have here stations. I have my alcohol ink drawer, which I can pull out and then I can use my alcohol inks. I have a blending tool drawer just for my blending tools, that kind of stuff. But I'm talking about a station that is ready to go when you're ready to craft. So I decided to set up a craft cart. Now I've always had one in my craft room that I've used in different ways throughout the years. I love this cart because I can use it in so many different ways. And if I don't end up using it in the craft room, I could use it in the bathroom, I could use it in the kitchen or whatever the case is. But I love the fact that I'm able to set this up to create a workstation. So the thing that wasn't working out in my craft room anymore because I'm doing it way too often to have it stored the way that I'm doing it is hot foiling. So hot foiling I originally had in one of my pretty blue boxes and I had everything stored in there. It was quite practical. When I felt like hot foiling, I took the box down, unpacked it, the machine was in there, the foils were in there, the tools were in there, the hot foil plates were in there. Everything I needed was in there except for my die cutting machine. And so when I took it out, I still had to though take the machine out plug it in, wait for it to heat up, crawl under my desk, get the die cutting machine out and take it out. And what ended up happening, and this is one of the things that I notice in my craft room, when I start avoiding something, it means that it's not accessible enough for me. And so every time I would think about hot foiling, which I absolutely love, I would dread crawling under my table to get my die cutting machine out. <laughs> and so I knew there needed to be a change. So it was time to set up cart number two in my craft room. And I recommend having a zone or a station for the thing that you do the most, or two or three, depending on the size of your room, of course. <laughs> now, I have one for die cutting, I have one for hot foiling, so let's dive in on setting up a cart like this and what you need to keep in mind when setting up a perfect craft organizer or a station in your room. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is actually purge and get together the stuff that should go into your zone or your cart or whatever it is that you're using to organize. There's no sense in organizing things that you're going to purge anyway, and collections can grow over time. So for example, my situation of just throwing my foil plates into the box doesn't really work anymore because my foil plates have accumulated quite significantly. So I needed to get these set up in a way that worked and keep like things together. The second thing you're going to do is organize by priority. So whether you have a cart like this that is three tiered, two tiered, you have um, shelving that you're using, it doesn't matter. Whatever is within hand reach should be the thing that you need to reach for the most often. For me, of course, since this is a hot foiling station, I'm gonna want my hot foiling machine on the top. Now I always recommend measuring what you need to store before grabbing a storage unit. And that is because you get into unfortunate cases like this one. I obviously want to store my hot foil on the top, but because my die cutting machine is so large, I wasn't able to crank it with it being on the second shelf. A little impractical to have the hot foil machine in the center, but overall I did end up making it work. Now the good thing is, is I read that the hot foil machine is compatible with the Sizzix switch. And when I show you my die cutting station, which is right beside my hot foil station, you'll see that the Sizzix switch is right on the top. So I don't really need to worry about the fact that my Platinum 6 doesn't fit. Um, I can easily just keep the hot foiling machine on the top of the cart. So measure what you need and then grab what you are going to use to store. So for me, I grabbed the hot foil machine and you can see the plates are right beside it for easy access and the Spellbinders Platinum machine is on top so I have room to crank and then send it through the machine. Overall, this setup actually works for me also. I use this for several weeks, um, but I do like the fact that my Sizzix switch is right next to it and I can use that for hot foiling too. On the bottom drawer, I'm going to be sticking my hot foil plates and my foils. Eventually, I did end up cutting off the lid to this organizer just because it made things a lot easier. But it's just easy flip through storage that I could grab and it doesn't need to be necessarily at the top. 
I'm super happy with it here at the bottom. So literally everything I need to hot foil, including the foils, the hot foil plates, the machine and the die cutting machine are all on one station ready to go. And everything is also plugged in and ready to go. So all I need to do is switch on the on button and I am ready to hot foil. This is so much easier than before when I had to take everything out and set everything up. It just made it such a chore. All right, so you can see the hot foil station in its glory. And again, the principles will apply to anything that you're organizing. Um, so just have things within um, that everything's stored together, essentially. And when I store my carts, they're just off to the side like this. And I grab a cart when I need it and I'm crafting it just I literally can grab them with my hand from where I'm sitting and roll them over to where I am and I'm able to craft without any issues and this works really well for me. So this is my die cutting station at the top, the die cutting machine. The dies I have in the middle here in two storage containers and then my extra plates and scrap cardstock in the bottom. For hot foils I have my foil and plates at the very bottom and then I go into the center piece, which is the hot foil machine. And as I said, I can send it through my Sizzix switch as well on the other cart and then the die cutting machine at the top. Now, if you enjoy organization videos, I really recommend meeting me over here at this video for five craft room organization hacks that I've always used and incorporated into my craft room over the years. I'll see you over there.